game to kick at the bar to a girl with an awkward occurrence. So my talk with a turns dig it. I'm supposed to got game how absurd. I'm a lame, I'ma learn one day, but till I perfect the spectacles on my face, I'm a nerd in my head, I'm a name. In the world, I'm just another cog on dead dogs. I am on set though, I'm so awkward like cyan. Okay, what do y'all think? Um, it doesn't look artistic like it does on the images. And it's not sinking to the bottom. That's the main thing. I mean, I think it might actually look like something if it would sink to the bottom. Like if it would do this. Then maybe it would kind of look similar to the pictures but it won't stay, it's not staying down. Oh dear, keeps floating to the top. And plus it's coming apart. Wow, it actually sank. Shortly after I had given up hope that it ever would. I'm not too sure how I feel about the look of it, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, it's not perfect, but I still like it. I think it's very artistic. That's what it looks like from the top. Well, I'm not doing a very good job of showing it right now, but it actually is very artistic. It's really kind of pretty. <laughs> oh, friends. This reminds me of uh, James, a passage in the book of James. Let me share it with you. It's really, really short. It says, let patience finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Patience. Oh, that virtue called patience. <laughs> Not one that I possess. <laughs> but, wow, sometimes beauty will blossom when you least expect it. And I know you can't see this right now because of the way the light's shining on it. But now it's time for a taste. I mean, it's very aromatic. It smells like walking through a field of wildflowers. Seriously, I wouldn't kid you about that. It's probably not going to be very attractive now because I'm going to add my customary two packs of stevia and one spoonful of white sugar. I would love to add some honey as well, but I have to cut back on the sweets. <laughs> so I will let you guys know how this tastes. Oh, where's my spoon? Spoon! <laughs> okay. I'm going to give you guys a complete honest review of this tea. It needs to be strained because now all of the tea leaves are getting in my mouth as I try to drink it. And that's no fun. Mm. Um, I'm trying to get the, to the flavor though. It's very light. And this particular one is not the best tasting. I'll be honest. I need to go grab my cup of, I've got sitting over here, plan B. It's my cup of cranberry tea. But I did want to share this. This is what it was supposed to kind of be like, the experience. Something I wanted to try. Got this on Amazon. There's several different ones here. <laughs> I know y'all didn't come here for a tea review, but <laughs> I just wanted to share because I, I do an annual tea party every year and I was thinking of using this next year. So I was trying it out. We'll have to see how some of the others work out before I bring that in. So let's grab some real tea. Mmm this here yes in my love to soak up mm, this is my favorite can you see it i don't want to tip it over anyway this is one of my faves for the season it's called cranberry harvest oh it smells like fresh cranberries and it tastes divine 
Mm. Oh, now I'm in business. Okay, friends, I'll quit shucking and jiving. That being said, let's just get into a make really quick that um I have for you guys to share to share with you all. Um, some of you may remember last December when I shared this red dragon jacket that I made from a collection I did called Culture Shock, where I used a lot of African and Asian influences in my design work. Well, she has finally found a home and um now her sister her little sister blue koi needs a home let me show you blue koi mm. cranberry cranberry okay this my friends is blue koi look at that fiber would you it is made from a lightweight faux velvet suede inspired i'd say textile um but this jacket is beautiful i call her blue koi like you know the fish the blue koi fish and of course she's fully lined Okay, friends, so here's my special announcement. I'm so excited because I'll be uh, participating in my first collab ever here on Tribeca Designs. And that is um, with Miss Jen. Hi, Jen, from today in Jen's sewing room. And Chalisa, hey, Chalisa, from So Chi Designs. We'll be uh, doing a collab. Am I supposed to say what we're doing? I guess it doesn't matter, right? Um, but I'm really excited because I've done several sewing challenges here, but this is my actual first collaboration. And so stay tuned because next week uh, we'll be posting our videos showing the reveal of our collabs. So I hope you guys are as excited as we are and that you will come back uh, to review uh, or take a look at what <laughs> we put together for this collaboration. All of us are very, very busy right now. We have very busy lives, but I'm so thankful for my sewing sisters who decided to um, come along and get together and have a little fun with a special genre of fabrics. And it will be, an, oh, I can tell you, it will be an upcycling element included as well. Okay, friends, it's already past high noon here. I've had my tea at high noon, and now I need to get on the machine, and I need to post this video. So I hope you'll come back next week to check out our collab. And thank you for watching. Have a wonderful weekend. Peace and blessings.